My name is Mickey Avalon. I'm a uh, hip hop artist, I guess. I mean, honestly, I never like. Uh, I mean, I never thought anything like this would really happen. I mean, what inspired me to to rap was, uh, you know, before before rap music came out, I just uh, kind of grew up on, on my on my father's music, which. I'm still, told, you know, rock and roll and blues, and 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 I still love that stuff. But that, you know, that's that's before that's before my time. So, so rap music was the the first music that I ever found found on my own, and I liked it. I mean, I remember just shoplifting uh, cassettes and stuff. But I mean, I seen Beastie Boys and Run DMC 1986 uh, together forever tour. I seen. I won tickets to go see Boogie Down Productions on uh, KDY, like fifteen eight, like the first KDY. I seen uh, Public Enemy, you know, Ice T came out and Easy and then I saw those concerts, you know. But like I said, you wouldn't even get to the end of the concert because shit would be fucked up before it is over. So, and you know, and Colors came out, and I mean, now shit's more mellow back I mean back then like I mean there's still gangs and all that shit but like shit was just more I mean I was such a little kid I, I wasn't you know like but there was never any fear or anything because it's like I mean who's gonna fuck up some little 10 year old 11 year old fucking white kid who's 4 foot fucking 6 or something you know what I mean so we never really like scared to go to any of those shows just cause we were little kids you know what I mean I don't think we didn't really see like you know, I mean, we'd be like the only white kids there, but I, I just don't think we really mm. saw it like that or anything. You know, I just could never imagine like walking into a studio and like before we start recording, like, okay, so yo, let's get this straight. Like, I own this, and you own. You know, it's like somehow the re- you know, if you like fuck around with like a big record label, then weird shit happens, and then if you don't, it only really gets to so many people. I mean, even with the internet and anyone could put anything out but it's still like only certain things are gonna float you know to like i mean just because you can put it out there doesn't mean anyone's gonna like hear it you know i've always tried to have the right people in my corner but like if you don't like really trust that many people then you're pretty much just dealing with your friends and your family and then that's you don't necessarily want your friends and your family doing your business shit because then that gets weird. So shows are pretty much the, I'd say, like more how, how it kind of keeps the whole thing going and stuff, you know. I mean, I'm proud. I mean, I'm proud I'm alive. Like, I'm, that might sound stupid, but I'm proud of that. I, I'm proud that I think, I think my daughter is a, a good kid, you know. I think she's smart and, and not stupid and... Uh, um, I just think uh, I'd like knew when to be somewhere when not to be there and I'm just I don't know I'm just like things could have things could always go a different way like like as bad as shit gets it could, it could always get worse you know whatever I do I mean I don't want to do anything whack I guess uh, you know I mean if I always thought, you know, when my funeral comes, I hope there's a lot of pretty girls there. Uh, I guess that's it. I hope there's a lot of pretty girls at my funeral.